What's up, internet? Cooling these days trends towards bigger and bulkier. But single tower coolers can still find a place in many rigs. For one, not everybody has the space necessary for the big boy coolers or the 360mm rads. And two, perhaps a single tower cooler just really fits what you need. Today, we're going to be looking at Deepcool's AK400 versus the stock cooler of AMD, its bigger brother, the AK620, as well as a similar single tower offering from Noctua. Let's see how well this guy cools. For our test setup, we used the Ryzen 7 3700X which can generate a fair amount of heat but it's not a furnace like some of the other newer CPUs. We ran it at 100% load for 30 minutes and then recorded the highest temps hit by each cooler. We did this at both stock 3.7GHz and boost clock speed of 4.4GHz. To give the AK400 some fair competition, we tested it against the AMD stock cooler as well as Noctua's generally excellent NHU12S. And then to see how the AK400 fares against the big boys, we threw in the much larger dual tower deep pool AK620 into the mix. At stock speeds, the AMD stock cooler had the highest temp at 75 degrees. Not far behind was the NHU12S at 73. Significantly colder than the stock cooler was the AK400 at 67 degrees. And the big boy AK620 actually only managed to be 1 degree colder than the AK400 at 66 degrees. At boost clock speed, the stock cooler actually wiped out, crashing before 30 minutes, but it did hit a max temp of 94 degrees before surrendering. The NHU12S posted a decent 83 degrees, followed very closely by the AK400 at 82 degrees. Finally, the AK620 does show more separation from the smaller one tower coolers when running at this more demanding speed, hitting a max temp of only 79 degrees. TLDR, the AK400 is at least the equal of Noctua's NHU12S and actually outperformed it in both of our tests. At the base speed in particular, the AK400 was on par with the much larger AK620 and that's truly impressive. I'm giving this cooler 5 out of 5 candies. Excellent cooler at a competitive price. Bottom line, if you're looking for a 1 tower cooler, it's hard to get any better than the AK400. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tungo puan nato. Dejo club. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.